I'm Joe Feeks, editor of Poultry Health Today, and with me is Dr. James Denton. He's Professor Emeritus at the University of Arkansas. Jim, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure to be here with you, Joe. Uh, you know, uh, the poultry industry is blessed with a lot of, you know, veterinarians and, and other poultry health professionals, uh, but I guess that's something that we really can't take for granted, can we? Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that uh, I've learned in communicating with several of our poultry integrator companies as well as some of our pharmaceutical companies and scientifically based companies is that there is a shortage of well-trained uh, veterinarians and masters and PhD level uh, young people coming in to replace a generation of scientists that have been doing the work for the past 20 years or so. And why do you think that's so? There, there are a couple of uh, contributing factors, one of which is a decline in the number of poultry science programs that we have across the country. We now have six departments of poultry science, uh, where at one time, when I first started my career, we had 23. So it reduces the number of available students that we have that can get into veterinary medicine or move into master's and PhD programs related to poultry health. Uh, that would sustain this industry over the long term. So uh, are, are these students then going into other areas of veterinary medicine, companion animal for example, or, or where, where are they going? That's one of the issues is that many of our uh, incoming veterinarians do go into companion animal. Uh, the other one is that we don't have the same number of students coming through undergraduate poultry science mm -hmm. programs yeah. that have that background mm -hmm. in poultry that then uh, creates that interest for them to go on into graduate school and vet, vet school. So what are you doing about it? It sounds like you want to try to reverse this trend. We do want to reverse the trend. Uh, as our industry has concentrated into a very few states, primarily located in the southeastern part of the country, uh, we have seen a, uh, a decline in the number of students. The Poultry Science Association Foundation is establishing a program that's designed to encourage really bright young people that come through that have scientific capabilities to consider careers within poultry science. Uh, one of the ways that we do that is use undergraduate scholarships at the junior and senior level. We target the ones that have the scientific interest. We also have graduate fellowships. Uh, for masters and PhD students as well as support for uh, veterinary uh, medical students that would make good career uh, veterinarians within the poultry industry. We also sponsor, sponsor travel grants that will help get these young people to scientific meetings where they can present the, re the results of their research and then we also have a partnership uh, arrangement, a, what we call a preceptor or mentoring program in which we partner with a company, with the veterinarians and, and the PhD uh, scientists that they have with our new uh, PhD students and uh, veterinary medical students so that they get actual real world experience uh, to help facilitate that interest. By doing that, we think we can increase the numbers and, and provide uh, leadership for scientific leadership in the next generation of young people. And how long has this effort been underway? We are uh, entering our second uh, phase, which is really uh, about six months ago that we started working on this particular effort. Prior to that, we were working at putting our two journals uh, on electronically searchable databases for the Journal of Poultry Science and the Journal of Applied Poultry Research. So we're just now really beginning to start focusing our energies and our effort on this particular part of our campaign. Well, and I know it's, it's going to take a while for you to get the word out on this and uh, certainly uh, attract people to the poultry industry, but uh, what have been the, the early results so far? Our early results are extremely encouraging because almost every company that, that I have talked to and that our other uh, people on the board of trustees have spoken with indicate that they recognize that there's a shortage of talent uh, for filling some of their key positions. Mm -hmm. They're excited about this as we are excited about it. One of the uh, first things that we have that's coming out was actually just announced Monday here at this meeting at the student luncheon. We have a, an undergraduate uh, internship award in the memory of Dr. Drew Geeson, 
who was a scientist with Novus who passed away about two years ago. Uh, his family, friends, and colleagues have established that, uh, that fund in his memory. So it's, uh, it's exciting, uh, it's encouraging. Drew is one of those uh, people that was always involved with encouraging young people to consider poultry as a career. And I think it's very fitting and appropriate that, that we do this. Well, Jim, it sounds like a great initiative and one that's going to benefit uh, not just the poultry industry, but uh, poultry consumers. So congratulations. Thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate it. We've been talking to Jim Denton, uh, Professor Emeritus from the University of Arkansas. Thanks again. Thank you.